let's get started let's get started now let's understand slowly so this session is planned for about 30 to 40 minutes and we'll understand slowly what is azure what we do as a data engineer so in this complete practice oriented lectures a series of seven weeks core engineering activities with a prerequisite microsoft sql server concepts like creating databases working with tables and running a basic level queries should do it should be fine you have some knowledge on sql microsoft sql then we are good to step into data engineering we can make it more interesting so in our entire course, the seven weeks core data engineering classes and then project work, we need to plan for about two months total. With entry and implementations, let's understand in short, what is database, what is warehouse and what is engineering, like why we are going for this course. And we are going to learn about the components, like what components we are going to, you know, uh, deal with practically in our classes. And what are the prerequisites technically and the course takeaways? Let's understand them slowly, step by step. So this is I from Indra from SPL School. And I assure you complete practice oriented classes from scratch, right from the beginning, right from day one of our classes. And this is the only PPT for the entire course, trust me. No more PPTs. It's all about practice, step by step with complete documentation. And we request you to take a print copies of the document. It will be in a printable format. You take print copy, practice it as is, do the task. It. So on time practice required throughout our course, okay? Weekends will be having other assignments part of our classes like uh, some revision examples or some other kind of use case scenarios to do on weekends so weekday i request you to do on time practice there will be assignments you may submit your assignments by weekend i understand majority of our participants are working professionals majority 90 plus percent are working professionals who love to join our uh, detailed step by step course so tasks you may submit by weekend but on time practice very much required very very much required okay please understand my concern and let's get started now let's understand slowly what is azure data engineering before we step into the azure data engineering let's understand first what is a data warehouse we are into box number five sorry we are into core data engineering black box we are into core data engineering black box course this is a part of our big data and azure activities it's a part of our big data azure activities let's understand slowly step by step what it is why it is and how to step into the black box data engineering, first, what is database? A platform to store any type of data, a platform to store any amount of data, fully secure. So DBMS, database management system, is a software to store, secure, and manage databases. Now, this is about regular database management activities so we have sql server ibm db2 and mysql oracle cybase lot of technologies from lot of companies deal with these databases our course is at next level that is data warehouse there are two primary types of databases oltp means live online transaction processing database to store live data real-time data to store live real-time data like live temperatures live stock market operations 
live car showroom anything live o l t p other one data where to store historical data inactive data to store any data which need to be used for future analytics predictive analysis so we hear about ai right we hear about data science we hear a lot about copilot bard gemini so these ai and automated environments need data primary source of data for data science and ai engineers is our warehouse that we are going to build in our classes right that is data warehouse so this is our course i repeat again let me go technically step by step just wait okay here it is i'll take this website databricks.com just to get some idea on what we are going to do from tomorrow that is very important here it is the implementation plan we are going to do in our classes we are going to use existing database and design something called data warehouse so here it is on my screen here it is on my screen we are going to have the actual concept of database to data factory data bricks and synapse so this entire activities we need to do slowly step by step that includes even iot data lake storage data bricks data factory synapse so on that's how it works we need to start from the birth of data database and prepare the required stage storage needed for power bi needed for machine learning engineers ml azure ml data science and so on so here it is back to our actual concept we are understanding types of databases we are understanding types of databases oltp the prerequisite to step into our core data engineering classes basics of oltp should be fine creation of databases tables running queries by second week of our data engineering course by the time we are step into second week of our data engineering course we need to step into something called migrations on prem to azure migrations by the time please get knowledge on or revise your existing knowledge on constraints joins in oltp regular sql database microsoft sql database so that we can have good exposure meaningful hands on in our data warehouse classes so here is the journey point assume a banking environment assume a bank environment you have some savings account and i have a current account you have a loan account we have other pan say or ssn or driving license etc different different file systems so all this content can be uploaded to avs banking servers that is live oltp day to day activities i recently applied for a home loan and they asked me for 3 years bank statement of my personal account my my account and my spouse account and 6 years of our school account or sq school account really i log into my bank portal i could see only recent transactions i need to walk into the bank and they ask me to raise a request write a request letter so that their back end team can connect the warehouse and bring me all the old transaction data warehouse they use it to analyze my per, my financial performance they predict my loan repaying capacity because i bid for a more amount to set up a new office in our uh, hyderabad 
real data is a fact here. So I mean, whenever we work with big data, whenever we work with huge volumes of data required for predictive analysis, machine learning, deep learning, AI, or any kind of automations, we need something big. There comes warehouse. That is our course. So whatever, you know, the green lines you see on the diagram, on the screen, the diagram on the screen, that is our course. Bringing data from left. Using something called ETL, right? Extract, transform, load. And then place the data in a warehouse. From there, connections to reporting, Power BI. So core Power BI, a separate course for us, a separate four-week journey for us, okay? A dedicated four-week journey for Power BI. And this seven weeks Azure Data Engineering is completely into ETL and data warehousing, only these two aspects. Now to make the things interesting, to make the things interesting, there are two flavors of ETL. One open source, one Microsoft. Left hand open source, right hand Microsoft, remember. Again, there are two implementation ways of warehouse also. Once again, same story. Left side open source, right side Microsoft. That is our course. So there are two ETL implementations and a bridge in between them. Two data warehouse implementations, a bridge in between them. What is that bridge? What are those two implementations? Let's stay tuned. Let's observe carefully. I repeat again, friends, our course is all about where are parking service and the parking area multi-layer automated parking area where parking service etl extract transform load and data warehouse the storage activities needed for ai deep learning data science and so on so in our data engineering classes our main job role is about data warehouse design we are going to design data warehouses from scratch we are going to extract data from various uh, data sources, orchestrate. We are going to clean the data, just simply get rid of unwanted data. Filter it carefully because our data should be there for long term, right? That is our future. For me, data is important. I have to clean it carefully. Transform it. I mean, Get it in a proper format which is easily understandable by data warehouse and even Power BI, Tab View, Click View, Click Sense, or Data Studio, Machine Learning, AI, etc. So, our data engineering job role involves data warehouse design, extraction, orchestration, cleansing, and transformations, and storage, security, and optimizations. So in this process, we come across storage components, few storage components, few ETL components, and end-to-end -end integrations. It is inside ETL, we have something called Python, part of our classes. Microsoft SQL prerequisite, Python, not a prerequisite for our classes. We have enough examples. We have 20 plus examples on Python for pertaining to ETL, okay? We are not into programming. Python is very vast. At our school, we have Python programming separate two-month course. Python machine learning two-month course. Python AI one-month course, very new. We are not bold enough to go, not dare enough to go for two months now. As for the comfort of the resources, we have one month Python AI. And we have Python plus Snowflake, a week and one month course, etc. Python is very vast. Whatever Python required for us as a data engineer, we are going to learn it step by step from scratch anyway. 
So basic Microsoft SQL knowledge should be enough. I can guide you step by step from there. So in our data engineering, you see here on my screen, which is actually on top of SQL Server and Transact SQL concepts with basic tuning activities like procedures, indexes. Experience profiles, you may offer additionally a dedicated one month, not one month, sorry, two weeks, not one month, sorry, two weeks advanced query tuning classes separately. Experience profiles. We are into core data engineering working for ETL and data warehouse. This query tuning has nothing to do with Azure. It is completely on-prem. SQL database OLTP. Our course is into data warehouse and ETL for DP203. Next. We have dedicated course only for DP203 as well. But all that content will be a part of our complete data engineering course here. What we are going to learn in our data engineering? Yes, we are into data factory. ADF we call. Data lake storage, data bricks, PySpark, Synapse, IoT, Purview, Azure Purview and Big Data activities that includes something called Unity Catalog, Microsoft Entra and Logic Apps, end-to-end -end implementations with CI-CD pipelines. So the realistic project-oriented classes part of our classes, part of our course anyway. Plan for about two months. Seven weeks live classes, Monday to Friday. Weekend course won't work for my sessions at least. Because my session will be complete into practice zone that really requires on time practice or going through the notes on time, getting ready for the next class. There should be a continuity, right? So, at least for my classes, we tried weekend, but we failed in terms of, you know, the uh, response in the live classes for my questions and the kind of questions I get in the live classes. So, I prefer live for the black box and to get more into it here it is in our data engineering classes we'll be having azure fundamentals first to start with very very first class we'll start with fundamentals slowly step into sql database in azure prepare the required platform for practice then step into SQL pool. Pool means data warehouse. I'll make this uh, PDF available for you. I'll make this PDF available for you anyway. Pool, SQL pool means data warehouse. Remember this. Next, we have something called storage and ADLS components, Azure Data Lake Storage. Stream Analytics, Data Bricks, Data Factory, Synapse, Key Walls, Active Directory, also called Microsoft Entra. E N T R A Entra, the new name for Active Directory called Microsoft Entra. IoT Hubs, Event Hubs, Resource Manager, Monitor, and LS. These are all the Azure components we need to learn. Beside these components are something called Azure Logic Apps, Azure Purview for end-to-end -end integrations. And we need to step into implementations, migrations, web applications, streaming, ETL, ELT, notebooks, pipelines, jobs, etc. Enough information for DP203. Part of our classes with latest up-to-date samples, Microsoft samples. So the seven weeks data engineering course is here. We'll be learning this item. Power BI, if you are planning for the front end, four weeks. What's the difference? Data engineering is all about storage, back end. Whereas Power BI is all about front end. Together we have a common certification DP500 older days. Now it is from 
last month april 2024 onwards dp 500 was you know uh, retired it got retired and you got dp 600 in place combining data engineering and power bi together and the sequel would be the prerequisite let's plan our things carefully we are into core engineering here the seven weeks journey revise sequel and that should be fine we are not into programming now what we do in this core data engineering course i said two etl variants right one open source on microsoft and i said two data warehousing implementations one open source one microsoft left hand right hand what are they let's see let's observe carefully on my screen now open source etl data bricks and microsoft etl data factory combining together synapse analytics that's it open source warehouse spark we have wonderful examples spark database creation spark sql views temp views tables and so on and synapse sql pool microsoft data warehouse and bridging those two we have data lake from data lake we have something called delta lake from delta lake we have something called one lake nice amazing terminology meaningful terminology is continuity like sequel like our movies we have sequel right same thing here really it's a nice sequel meaningful sequels we have like data lake delta lake one lake lake house and so on so what is what is very important and how to use and when to use what is very very important it's not just the terminology but applicative usage and the limitations of each component are very important here i will take care of it slowly on time practice required so what is included in our data engineering classes in our data engineering classes the seven weeks technical classes journey apart from one week project that we will be doing the seven weeks journey includes three different modules you see on the screen so we have storage and data lake module so left side module storage and data lake it's all about sorry this one just wait yes on my screen it's all about right from the cloud basics kinds of storage we are going to create something like something like google drive okay something like google drive we are going to create we are going to have something like network shares i think some touchpad problem there somewhere okay just okay just wait. got it we are going to have something called google drive storage something like network storage something like ftp storage kind of activities in first part you know the uh, storage module two weeks journey there we are going to learn about something called iot so here is the notes for the first module okay let me show you here the first i mean uh, the storage module that we are going to take for two weeks the storage module we are going to take for two weeks will be like this we will start from the scratch slowly and then step into various activities right from installations yes we need to have certain installations so you need windows 8 or higher operating system windows 8 or higher operating system required to we'll start from the scratch we need to install certain migration tools explorer tools okay so windows 8 or higher operating system required we are going to slowly understand security concepts and after we learn security concepts then we are going to learn something called migration activities 
by second week of our course we are going to step into migrations without storage account no migrations possible here for regular databases we are going to learn about stream analytics iot we are going to connect to microsoft data centers and analyze live temperature web applications and not just examples you know it's all about tasks we do the examples and then we are going to have the task items on top of it to make them more interesting more useful for our job work tasks you'll be submitting by weekend please we have various admin activities replications availability monitoring alerts optimizations pricing activities and comparisons when to use which after we learn about the storage components we have data factory components right from the scratch about here we will talk about uh, data warehousing etl and data warehousing so storage concepts are different etl and data warehouse concepts are different windows 8 or higher is required to install certain tools called ir tools integration runtime tools certain architecture elements we need to implement we are going to learn from scratch data factory from scratch we are going to have a good amount of examples on something called pipelines upset activities incremental loads on my screen we are going to learn something called transformations with spark clusters spark is part of our entire course Azure Spark is a part of our entire course. We'll do it carefully. And we'll be understanding about various transformations like aggregated data loads, data cleansing activities. We'll understand about unions, joints, optimizing each of them, pivot, unpivot activities, window functions, rank functions. Very, very important something called CDC change data capture we have pipeline parameters monitoring activities and we'll be learning about something called synapse analytics serverless pools apache spark pools and differences when to use which we'll be taking the activity straight to the point and apart from this three weeks data factory and synapse module we have databricks PySpark module this is open source remember data factory synapse is into microsoft etl microsoft data warehouse whereas databricks and spark are into open source etl open source data warehouse separate module part of our classes we'll be understanding from scratch step by step with proper example plan we are going to learn from scratch how to work with python and latest items ai with python part of our classes we have one example as on date python ai and data bricks together one single example and we'll be starting from scratch about integration activities. We'll be understanding how to bring data from various cloud and non-cloud sources, integrate with Purview, Power BI, and so on. No doubt, I'll make the things interesting, useful, but your practice and on-time response to my questions make our class more beautiful. Trust me. So need your support, need your support, subject is a bit lengthy. And let me show you the length of the subject once again. Here it is. We have good amount of storage components, good amount of data factory and synapse components we need to learn. And one more checklist for us good amount of activities on spark and pyspark 
I'll just put it here on my screen now. I'll mail you all this content today. I request you to uh, go through the keywords once or twice or thrice to get some idea. So two weeks storage component, three weeks of data factory synapse, Microsoft brand, and two weeks open source ETL and data warehouse. And one week you'll invest from your end for the project. Plan it for total eight weeks. Next, the project involves end-to-end -end implementations, how to work with open source ETL, Microsoft Warehouse, and vice versa. Open source warehouse, Microsoft ETL. That is the actual concept here. I mean, data bricks with data factory, they are good friends, you know. We cannot see them as, you know, opposite side. Open source ETL, Microsoft ETL can gel together in a happy way. They are not competitors. They can be associated with each other. Same way open source warehouse and Microsoft warehouse. We can make them gel together. And that is our project. If your interviewer asks you like uh, what you did in your project, right? What are the challenges you face in your project? What is this? Why that? Etc. kind of activities. I will take care. You will take care of the pro you will attempt the project implementation. Give a try. You will give a try. Or you will give me the complete, uh, you know, POC kind of thing. I will give you the step by step complete solution. Requirement and solution step by step I will take care. Precautions I will take care. Optimizations I will take care, including project FAQs. But I want you to be more responsive and I should be more responsible for our classes. I was requesting you multiple times in our class today on time practice. Yes, really. I want interested and active participants in the class. Please don't mind. Please understand my concern. It's not like, okay, you try, you give training and I relax. No, it's not like that for us, okay? At least for me, it's not like that. We are doing something, let's do it with all our heart. I come across many, uh, many people, you know, day and night, uh, you know, they say like, sir, I learned somewhere and I wanted to interview kind of uh, training. I ask one question, did you learn open source ETL or Microsoft ETL? And there was no answer there. See, we should know what is what, right? That's important before we think to proceed further. So what are those components? Why those components? Why those many components? How to make the work together is important. And there we are. I am there to guide you, trust me. But I want your practice. Okay, so let's make it live. Need your support. We'll do slowly, step by step from scratch next class. Please, everyone, we'll start from scratch slowly. What is Azure and the configurations one by one we'll do. What do you say? Please, we'll start from scratch and you'll support me with on-time practice. Please, mic with you all. Attendees will join a bit late. Kindly check your mics now. We'll go for questions now. For live classes, anyway, we have mics, you know, uh, for every example. I need to take the example. I have to repeat the example. Then we go for questions throughout the course. I repeat, our classes should be in this way. First one example, okay? Again, repeat it. Then we go for questions. We'll do this way throughout the course. So that we can have nice, you know, realistic and meaningful questions on board, right? That's my uh, thinking. And we do it that way. It works. It works for us. What do you say? Please, everyone, we'll practice on time. Submit your things on time, please. Everyone, please, I'll wait. Yes, sir. Please, everyone, please, my kind request, please. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, I think. Perfect, perfect, yeah. And next, in case if anyone, uh, you know, join a bit late, yes, any questions, please let me know, I'll wait.
here is a synopsis please have a look at the complete synopsis of our items today i'll make you all this content anyway fundamentals storage components and we have etl components okay these things for they from there we have end to end implementation with storage components and etl components with project solutions i will take care notes assignment certification guidance for dp203 resume guidance i will take care if anyone preparing for interviews let me know i can provide the project solution project faqs and concept wise faqs up front i repeat if anyone if anyone preparing for interviews okay please let me know just let me know so that we can send the project requirement and solution complete explanation document and videos complete solution and project faqs plus concept wise faqs we can do it just in case so that see time is also important for us right everything is important in case and last point before we go for questions i request you to have a credit card or a debit card to configure your free account we will be getting the complete guidance how to do it step by step but good to have a credit card or a debit card so that you can happily configure a free account valid for one month after one month what we do again another account another card maybe same account but another card required you may use one time first time debit second time credit or use your uh, you know partners account or your family members account the uh, you know card can be with any name no problem your email address full name and card name need not match you are not giving your card details to anyone okay except to microsoft through their website you'll be registering to microsoft site okay once you are done with your class tomorrow once you log out of your class then you do it we respect your privacy next question please i'll wait mike with you all now over to you any questions i'll wait yes any questions please let me know i'll wait for some hello sir is there any lms access for the recording session for our purpose we don't have lms but we have recording anyway you'll be given access to our videos see one thing those things you can speak to our team okay our teams will call you after the class today you can speak to them yes you can speak to them and we don't have lms actually we don't want to have any lms let me tell you why let me tell you why uh you'll be having assignments a starter and experienced person cannot be expected to have the same answer right okay so if there is an lms there will be direct communication and answers will be distributed then how do i know how do you know where we are right so we are into traditional learning process and detailed step by step notes will be provided videos will be available for limited time if you want live time access you may record from your end we don't have any objection it's up to you you can come with a video camera or mobile or whatever it's up to you but videos will be there for every class limited access and we practice more we respond more we get more and more that's how it is and on my screen to make it clear to justify my words okay that's why i was telling like you know we need uh, interested participants to move forward and we are fine with that here it is friends i said extras yes you have detailed step by step notes but attendees are practicing more who are looking for more experience they have weekend activities weekend workshops they have additional activities as well so something more so that is how we prioritize the things okay let's prioritize ourselves based on our profile 
for example like uh, you know i'll just put this way okay i'll put this way friends to make it practical one hour back we had my i had my sql class one hour back i had my sql class okay see 53 minutes ago i gave them the task item i gave them task item and see what i wrote please submit your answers on email paste the content in the body of the mail include your profile type why the answers and the profile type should match right we are not looking for google answer no those days are gone long back so whatever scenario we have and the answer we put should match so i want prioritize learning so if there is lms i cannot do all these activities compromise okay so yes we have lms for other courses with other trainers but for me no i am not into those things at least for now yes but anyway every notes whatever you want you get it anyway that's my duty i'll do next question please i'll wait vene ghosh kanna sir what is lms learning management system wherein uh, you know uh, it will like a common portal for everyone uh, vene ghosh kanna it's a common portal for everyone wherein you can touch base with other participants get the discussions and all but you know it's a public online training right so there will be different profiles starters would join experienced people will join again experience microsoft experience non microsoft experience within microsoft azure experience non azure experience sql experience non sql experience so we cannot have you know same content for everyone at least from the scenario based activities anyway choice is yours you will do it accordingly next question please i'll wait and one email sent just now friends please check it everyone i'll wait have you received the email please check it everyone i'll wait for some time yes what is it yeah hello imran sharif please tell me brother proceed yeah tell me yeah yeah uh, uh and this open source cpl system sir sorry i couldn't hear open you clearly source. repeat your question again please yeah open source cpl one minute i really i couldn't follow your question i'll just uh, type it here again tell me again please he is asking about open source etl okay got it now i got it sure this on my screen i'll write it like this okay i'll write this one. etl okay open source and microsoft okay and then here it is databricks adm synapse data warehouse spark and this is sql pool yes are you getting it now imran please shake your mic please i'll wait everyone are we getting it please i'll wait imran can you hear me please shake your mic please yeah yes sir yes sir yes sir i am getting perfect thank you if you are hearing this for the first time sql pool it's nothing but synapse analytics we call it this is synapse analytics we'll do it slowly and one by one anyway yes please observe carefully friends any questions let me know and just now one email sent just now one email sent to everyone please check it i'll wait uh, i haven't received it please i'll wait not received that email actually asked you for uh, submit in the form oh haven't received the mail still 
Please check it again. Please, I'm composing the second mail. Total, there should be two mails actually. First mail is about uh, one minute. First mail is about course plan confirmation. Here it is actually. This one. For data engineering, you have a total of three plans like only core data engineering or SQL plus data engineering, SQL data engineering, and Power BI. Okay, total three different levels. You can choose any one. Sorry to make you wait, might be on the way. I'll wait. Attendees who already enrolled for our uh, SQL classes earlier. You need not submit the form again, not required. Attendees are into our data engineering course plan BC and were already doing or completed SQL for them. Need not submit the plan again, not required. Others hope you received the form. Please kindly check. I'll wait. And Last okay, time would be from 7.15 to 8.15 a.m. Okay. Class time would be only for the demo class today, introduction class. We met at 7.30 a.m. From tomorrow, class time would be 7.15 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. India time. Okay. Uh, throughout the course. I shall send the same uh, on email as well to avoid confusion. I'll send the same on email now. Tell me, please. Next question, please. I'll wait. Just now received your mail. Perfect. Yeah, please submit the form over there. Attendees already enrolled for SQL plus data engineering. Uh, you need not submit any form. Please kindly wait for my class notes mail. I'm sending it now. Okay, please wait. I'm sending it now. Total, there will be three attachments. One PPT, one Excel file with the detailed content. And on PDF. Please take a print copy of the PDF, complete course content. I request you to take print copy of the PDF. I'll provide you now. The course content, okay? Let's make it clear on what we are going to learn step by step slowly. Yes. Hope you got the mail now. Please check it. Total three attachments. Kindly check. Total there will be three attachments. And how many hours you can practice per day, please? Let me know. Uh, minimum one hour, please. Everyone, can you give me 45 minutes to one hour, everyone, please? To practice, please let me know, please. I'll wait. Yes, sir. Please, everyone, please, I'll wait. Yes, yes. Please, my kind yes. request. Yes. I think I'm requesting so many times today, right? I mean it because yes, sir. without practice, it won't work, right? Yes, sir. Please, yeah. We need to practice up nice questions. I'm there to clarify, right? We need to sense the subject together. We need it, please. Yes, when you go, Shukana, I received your uh, confirmation. Our team shall get back to you shortly. Shantanu, received your confirmation, dear. Our team will get back to you shortly. Imran Sheikh, received your confirmation. Our team will get back to you shortly. And attendees already uh, enrolled for the course earlier. Avinash, Shivaranjan, Mohan. We are meeting from tomorrow, 7.15 to 8.15, okay? For this data engineering course. Yeah. India time. Everyone, 7.15 to 8.15. Sir, so 115 to 815, but I'm I'm in the SQL class as well, so, but that is 615 to 715, right? No problem, brother. Okay, okay, 15 minutes earlier. Okay, got yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You remember I was mentioning the same on email as well yeah, today, right? Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. No problem, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. To make it clear, 715 to 815 data engineering, okay? And yeah. uh, this one, uh, Shivaranjan, you remember I was asking everyone and everyone said okay for it. Yes. Yes, sir. I got you. Got right, you. Yeah. 
so because you all agreed for it so i just moved it you know bit early okay because yeah, yeah. I, mean, uh, yeah, i had one corporate assignment recently from one company so i need to carry it you know 11 o'clock yeah, no. there was a corporate training for me so for that reason okay yeah we'll do next question please i'll wait sachin any questions for me sachin please tell me sachin Sachin, any questions for me, please? Cannot hear you, Sachin. Fine, friends. Thank you. Meeting from tomorrow, everyone. Have a nice time. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Say thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank 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 you. means a plan plan c includes what what sir 156 brother 156 are uh, yellow black red on my screen okay this one brother on the screen 156 so here it is okay 1 5 and 6 combo that is a uh, data engineering plan c uh we have any coding coding knowledge for learning this data it's not about coding sir but it's scripting we have python scripting python scala we have nice scripting activities and make them interesting i'll make them useful and easy for you no problem okay it's not coding it's not programming no not at all programming is different scripting is different the scripting part is auto generated now with ai i'll show you how to auto generate the ai within uh, azure portal itself we can do No third party tools. We'll do on by. It's a scripting, no coding. Yes. Uh, can we have uh, SQL uh, basics, sir? I Microsoft need to join uh, SQL part. Yes, yes. Microsoft SQL basics are required. Microsoft SQL basics okay. are required. Uh, Oracle or other SQLs may not be really that much useful. So revise Microsoft SQL. Then we are good to proceed for box five and six. Or opt for our box one. Spend some time with me for, on Microsoft SQL, and then go for data engineering for the end to make it more useful and meaningful. Yes. Okay, and here it is. Ah, uh, the box one I said right, Microsoft SQL box one. I'll show you. The Microsoft SQL box one. We have four hundred plus queries. to make it uh, meaningful and useful here it is let me show you i'll just put this way where it is curriculum yes this one on my screen so few concepts are not there in oracle or mysql you know for example you have something called as uh, schemas we have something called schemas here temp tables system databases and something called as schema concepts we don't have it in oracle right oracle schemas is different compared to microsoft so there are certain differences the way window functions work system procedure system functions system views the way normal forms implementation oracle and microsoft sql there is a difference so microsoft sql knowledge is required for best results meaningful learning yes either you learn from me or learn on your own or from some other source but you need to learn it before you step into data engineering so yellow box required to step into black box next question please i'll wait no questions i believe friends thank you any questions please let me know i'll stay back please fine thank you have a nice time thank you so much so see you tomorrow thank you in am sharp thank you so much have a nice time thank you once again thank you thank you bye thank you thank you so much thank you bye bye thank you